Okay, our first exercise in in exercise four is going to be making a sales receipt. And to do that, from our home screen, we're going to click on make a sale. And our screen is replaced with the sales receipt form. And now by default, our date is entered as today's date. Uh, now if we needed to enter a, a sale from a previous date, we could go to I want to and then come down here and change the date into the date that the sale did take place on. For this demonstration, we're going to keep today's date as is. Now we come over here to the scan or enter our item information. And we're going to just type in vacation planner. Select vacation planner. And you'll notice that the price and item description has already been populated on, on our screen. The next step we're going to do is go ahead and track our customer. So we're going to scan over to the customer field. We're going to hit the drop down button. We're going to click on add new customer. Uh, this is going to be a company. So we're going to make sure we check the box that says track as company. And our customer's first name is going to be Amald, last name Greenspan. The company name is going to be General Services Administration. And the phone number. And again, um, it's always, in my opinion, it's advisable to fill out all this information up front because QuickBooks Point of Sale does have a great. Um, customer center which allows you to track and advertise to your customers. It also allows you to plug into constant contact so that when you do have promotions going on you can load that coupon right from your point of sale into constant contact and have immediate access to all your customers. So the email address for the customer put in all this contact information And if you guys have downloaded the handout, I'm just simply copying and pasting from the handout that's provided on our website. If you have not downloaded, you could do so www.bottomlinetaxservices.com. Customer ID we're going to leave as, as is. We're going to mark this customer as tax exempt. And in our notes, and speaking with our customer, we know this customer is moving from California in March. So we're just going to go ahead and add those notes in there. I'm going to click Save. And if you notice, our total changed. It removed the tax. So now the tax is exempt. So the total for this invoice is 199 Now that we've entered the customer's item that they're purchasing, entered their name and information, we're going to go ahead and take payment. And if you notice down bottom here, all the different forms of payments can be taken. We can take cash, credit, debit, check, gift cards, or we could take it on account. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and do credit. And if we had our Intuit Merchant Services integrated within QuickBooks, we would just simply swipe the card here. For this demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and click Visa. We're going to hit Save and Print. And we're going to click on Print Preview. And now we'll see our invoice has been populated on the screen.